All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your Windows PC using Rewazd. Rewazd is like a lot of different driver programs. It can connect a whole different boatload of controllers to your Windows PC, including the Azeron, the Stadia controller, and the NVIDIA Shield, along with the standard Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo stuff. Uh, the main rub is that, despite being plug-and-play, you don't buy it once, you buy a subscription for, like, a three- to one-year period. So, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. If you want it, cool. If you want to try it, it comes with a seven-day free trial, so you can decide if this is something that you're actually interested in. So you can download that, install it, and then once you're done and restarted, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks a little bit like this. It'll have like your keyboard and your mouse, and in my case, I've got a Wacom tablet and its receiver plugged in. And all you gotta do to get your PlayStation 5 controller to work is just plug it in. It kinda sounds a little bit too basic, but it's really a plug and play sort of uh, system where you just plug it in and if it detects your controller, it boots it up, and you can use it. It'll even already let me use it as a mouse. And that's it. You can go and play your games with it. You can play your PC games and games that don't have built in support for the PlayStation controller. It will translate your controls to an Xbox controller. And yeah, happy fun times. The other stuff that you can do that's kind of handy is you can do things like I just in the previous tutorial made a preset for a PlayStation controller. PlayStation 4 controller so that I can use the four corners here as different buttons. And actually, as you can see, it's already translated that over to the PlayStation 5 controller, even though this isn't a PlayStation 4 controller because the layout's basically identical. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to make a new one. To illustrate how that works, I've got Stardew Valley open in the background so it can see the process running on my computer. And I'm gonna click on Add Game Profile. I'm gonna call that Stardew PS5. And then down here, I'm gonna add a process down under S for Stardew. Here it is, I just click on that and click Add, OK to add it here. You can add multiple different things that will trigger this profile when you boot them up. In this case, I'm just adding Stardew, and I'll click Add. And from here, I can customize by hovering over and clicking any button on here, including the back buttons. You can also tweak the virtual mouse settings or turn them off, or even the sensitivity of the vibrations. Uh, but what I wanna do is I like to use the touchpad and I like to use the four corners for buttons. And I can open this up and I can say, I want this to be digital mode, require a click, where you click on it. And then I want this to be tab, to open up your inventory. And I can click on this pull down, I can get access to all the buttons on my controller, my keyboard, my mouse, whatever I want are available. And even some functions too, like I can set this to restart my whole computer if I want. There's a lot of different stuff that it can do. It can even activate crosshairs. So if your game doesn't have crosshairs and you want to be a little bit cheaty, you can actually have this provide you a HUD that gives you a crosshair. But I don't really need that. What I want to do is I want to use tab and I can actually hit the button on my keyboard. and I can now bind that to tab. And then I can click to the side and there it says tab is bound here to this quadrant. And I can go over here, do something similar, require a click, and I can say for this, I want it to open up escape for the escape menu. And then we're good. I can then click on these icons down here, to go back to the main menu, it'll prompt me to save it, I'll say yes, and then we're back here on the main menu. Now when I boot up Stardew, it'll use that gaming profile, or I can manually use it by clicking on it. And then bing, bang, boom, I'm ready to roll. Uh, I can also delete this at any time by just right clicking it and clicking delete. And yeah, it's pretty simple. You can go game with this right now. Alternatively, if you'd rather play with this wirelessly, because most computers have Bluetooth built in, you can unplug it, it'll disappear from your screen, it won't be available anymore, and you can open up your Bluetooth settings, 
And then from here, you can press and hold the PlayStation button icon on your controller, and then that little pill-shaped icon in the upper left corner of the touchpad, that's the share button. Press and hold on those until the light ring around the touchpad starts to flash. Then click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Click on Bluetooth. It'll show up as a generic wireless controller because Sony never, ever labels these things. And then from here, it'll show back up on Rewaz, but this time it'll have a Bluetooth icon to tell you that this device is currently uh, on Bluetooth wireless mode, but you can at any time plug it back in with the controller, and then that will change the icon to be just a regular icon again, because it'll be charging the controller, and then it won't, it won't disconnect or do anything weird, it'll just use the wired connection now, and it, it'll just transition real smoothly between the two. Some drivers have an issue with that. If you hover over this, it'll tell you some in, in, yeah, extra information. Um, it should, at least it does on the PlayStation 4, it'll tell you what PC it's paired with, in this case, it doesn't do that, which is fine. Um, but it'll tell you if it's in Bluetooth mode or if it's currently in wired mode. And it'll also tell you at the top of the screen here what the battery level is if you hover over it. Mine's at 80%. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Most of this is just plug and play. You download it, you install it, you plug in your controller, it should just work. For anything else, I guess you'd have to contact their support to do some troubleshooting because. PlayStation 4 especially is kind of a temperamental controller, but the PlayStation 5 does a pretty good job. Uh, so that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been your host, Larry, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.